10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. HVB discharge is nominal. Electron is soaring through the sky right now after lifting off from Pad B at Launch Complex 1, now on its way to low Earth orbit for NASA and Tropics. The first launch milestone the rocket will pass through is Max-Q, when the forces against Electron are at their peak as the rocket moves quickly through the atmosphere. Mission Control is expected to call that out on the net shortly. Cleared Max-Q. Great news there with Max-Q and onward and upward for Electron. It has only been about a minute since liftoff and already the rocket is at its speeds of over 2,000 kilometers an hour, a mere fraction of the 27,000 plus kilometers an hour that is orbital velocity, which will reach ahead of payload deployment in the next 30 minutes or so. Next, though, is the separation of the rocket between stages one and two. For that to happen, we first need the nine Rutherford engines currently burning hot to shut down, an action called Main Engine Cutoff or MECO. Then a few moments later, stages one and two will spring apart. We'll hear that called out as stage separation. Then the single space-optimized Rutherford engine on the second stage will light up and carry on with the Tropics mission. Those milestones should be taking place at around T plus two and a half minutes. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Entered burnout tech mode. Miko confirm. Stage separation successful. Stage ignition. Exactly as we expect, there goes Miko stage separation, and we can now see that the Rutherford engine nozzle is glowing hot on the second stage. The Tropic satellites remain in good health on the Electron, and soon the rocket's onboard computer will command the fairing to separate and fall away. Now that we're in the vacuum of space, Tropics doesn't need the protection of the fairing anymore, so we get rid of that dead weight to maximize fuel efficiency on the way to orbit. Fairing separation successful. If you're looking at the screen at the right moment just there, you will have seen those two nose cone halves falling away as planned with the fairing separation.